I am 99% certain Polyphia is going to absolutely take over the guitar world, and I'm going to tell you guys why. From the guitars to the fashion appearance to the stimulating VFX music videos, Polyphia is firing on all cylinders and are clearly here to take over the guitar space as a whole. With nearly 1 million monthly listeners on Spotify, Polyphia's current audience size has surpassed some of the biggest names in guitar-based instrumental music, including Animals' as leaders, Steve Vai, and even Joe Satriani. The numbers are there to prove that their artistic approach is captivating. So regardless of the people feeling as though their music lacks emotion or is too out of the ordinary, it is clearly being well received by their audience. Each time I get a notification for Polyphia's videos, I'm dying to hear what musical fusions they've assembled for the track. Because honestly, anyone that's familiar with the band knows they're most likely going to blend melodic guitars with some sort of electronic or hip hop oriented production style. But it's how they implement those components that's difficult to predict. For anyone that disagrees or anyone who has a good inkling of what Polyphia's next track will sound like, Comment below and prove me wrong. And I must say, there's something gravitating about Polyphia's unpredictable nature when it comes to these releases. After listening to Neurotica for the first time, I can't say I was completely living for it, but it's what happened days later that got me. I couldn't get the guitar melody out of my head. Polyphia's last couple of songs have harbored a protruding EDM presence, and while they aren't songs I'd personally bump in my car on a daily basis, they possess appealing elements that keep me coming back for more. If I could put my finger on one thing that contributes heavily to Polyphia's triumph, I'll say it again, it's their hook writing abilities. On top of that, their productions are auditorily stimulating with so many channels and layers for your ears to latch onto. It's like the equivalent of a fireworks show where your eyes are rapidly scanning the glowing sky as you try not to miss anything. And guess what? That's exactly what their last music video did. Polyphia is no stranger to publishing intriguing music videos, but ABC is one of the most vitalizing music videos that I've seen in a while, especially as a guitarist. All of the VFX were incredibly well done and effective in creating the desire, tone, and atmosphere for the video. I mean, floating strawberries, teddy bears, and don't even get me started on that Guitar Hero segment. <laughs> Even the scenes where they showed the guitar tabs and implemented that into the video, I thought was pretty creative. In terms of aesthetics, the video does it all. It's fun, bright, vivid tone perfectly matched the energy of the song. Lately, Polyphia has been going down a road where anyone can listen to their music. While other guitars may be able to appreciate their guitar playing abilities on a deeper level, they are making music that has the recipe to go viral and absolutely thrive in today's music age. For lack of better words, their music is trendy. Polyphia is tying together everything that makes up popular music, and they're doing it exceptionally well. ABC's is honestly a perfect song. Will I be listening to it on repeat? No but it hits on everything. A great female singer with catchy vocals and melodic guitar riffs, and not to mention the alluring video. I mean, the music video alone is enough to get people talking. With each new release, Polyphia is separating themselves more and more from their instrumental guitar counterparts, proving that they are unique and distinguishable from other bands. In no way am I saying that Polyphia is a flawless band, but if you take out the subjective comments and variants and appreciation for their music, everything they're doing is textbook. For years, they've managed to stay on the forefront of their genre, despite their last album release being nearly four years ago. And what's impressive is that the band has managed to maintain the majority of that hype throughout the entire four-year period. Polyphia recently announced that they sold out the shows for their whole tour, which means that there is a lot of anticipation surrounding the new album. And speaking of the new album, the 12-song project, Remember That You Will Die, has an official release date scheduled for October 8th. And I can say with certainty that it's gonna be big. It's definitely going to get a lot of attention considering how high they set the bar with Playing God and Erotica, which were both 
positively esteemed across the internet. After looking at the track list, I have no clue what to expect from the album, but without a doubt, it's going to be something different, and I really think we're going to see Polyphia pull some rabbits out of the hat with this one. We already know who Sophia Black is, but we have numerous features from rappers. Of course, it's Polyphia, including Snot, who's a pretty big name, along with Lil West and hip hop group Brass Tracks. They even brought in a keyboardist who goes by the name Anomaly, along with Deftones vocalist Chino Moreno. From the track list alone, it's evident that Polyphia is going to bring together some pretty unique sounds. And personally, I'm excited to see how everything is executed. I'm not too familiar with most of the features that they brought on, but all it does is add another layer of surprise. Give even it delivers as well as we're expecting it to. There's no doubt that Polyphia is going to deliver something extraordinary, but they also have pretty large shoes to fill. Continuously trying to one-up your last track isn't sustainable in terms of longevity, especially when your fan base is constantly expecting more and more from you. My only concern about the upcoming album is that their modern productions become so overly quantized to where they feel robotic and lose that natural human touch. I'm already starting to feel less presence in Clay's drums due to how perfectly matched every hit is, and the emphasis on program synths and drum beats really downplay his ability. Even Tim and Scott's guitars are on the cusp of not even sounding like guitars at all. It's going to be interesting, and I'm well aware that Polyphia's style will never share the same emotional resemblance to guitarists like Matthias Sato. or Pliny. who are exceptional at expressing that deeper, passionate liveliness, but I still want the guitars to sound like there's an actual person playing them. This is just me stating my opinions, and I firmly believe that this album is going to set some high standards in terms of both guitar playing and production quality. Let me know if you guys would like to hear my analysis on the entire album when that comes out, because I am sure there's going to be a lot to talk about. I do believe Polyphia is a special band with an absurd amount of influence in the guitar world, so I'm sure that they're going to make sure that this album was worth the wait. There's really no other band that is making waves at the magnitude that they are, and they may be the only ones on that pedestal for a good minute. To be fair, it's quite difficult to say too many negative things about the band, because I'm not sure how they could be doing anything better than the way they're doing it right now. If you're watching this video after the album drops, please be sure to leave your comments and thoughts down below. I'm guitarist and producer Mon Floral, and I will see you guys next time.